Stardew Valley is normally a peaceful game about maintaining a farm and building relationships in a small community. We are fishing, farming, and scavenging to do all of the time. But even though this game is incredibly wholesome in its nature, sometimes it allows us to go off of the rails. Sometimes it lets us yearn for the mines and begin bloody violence, which is exactly what we'll be doing today. Hello everybody, Harry here, and we are back for some more Stardew Valley. I'm not going to spoil myself uh, today with... Oh, okay. One moment. Uh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you were breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around here. I want you to have them. Oh, thank you very much, Clint. That was very nice. You learned how to craft a furnace, finally! The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. Awesome, thanks. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider giving me an, uh, having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Oh, what a nice guy. Thank you, Clint. Yeah, I was just going to say, I'm not going to spoil myself too much today, okay? <laughs> For more visitors. Hello, Harry. You see this cat here? Yes, a very nice cat. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, poor little thing. Meow. I think it likes this place. Hey, uh, don't you think this farm could use a good cat? Will you adopt this cat? Yes. Yes. Oh, naming it. Oh, I wanted to do this as a violence uh, day, but now I'm not sure I can. Oh, let's hit the randomizer a few times. Uh, I should have done something about this. Riley's a pretty good name, though. I like Riley. We'll go with Riley. Well, uh, little Riley, you you be a good kitty now, okay? Meow. All right. <laughs> So, I won't lie, I've been away from Stardew for a little bit now, and the main reason being is that I just kind of felt demoralised recording anything that wasn't, um, Minecraft for a bit. But I've kind of gotten over that slump now, so expect to see more of this and Celeste, uh, again in your near futures. Put the geode back, because I'm going to need inventory space, and let's sell all these parsnips to start with, and then I yearn for the mines. <laughs> we will be going mining. Let's see what this is. I've got some new items in stock. A deluxe fishing pole and some bait that you can attach it to. You can use bait to make fish bite faster. Hope we, uh, hope to see you soon, Willie. Well, we'll be going ahead and doing some more fishing like that. Uh, almost certainly. For now, none of these are gold quality. Uh, oh, there is another piece of mail. Oops. To our valued Jojo Mart customers. Our team members have removed the landslide caused by one of our drilling operations near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Persons to intent. L blah 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 blah. Joe Joe Co. Amendment. Responsible stewards, uh, stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologise for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Morris, Joe Customer Satisfaction Representative. I already dislike that. Hello, one-eyed man. Hmm. I was just peering down this old man shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Yeah, hi, who are you? Still, there's probably good ores down there. But dark place, I'm disturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Is it not? Here, take this. You might need it. Yes! My first stabbing stick! I received a rusty sword. Let's go! Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. One might say the Adventurer's League. Yeah. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. Oh, don't you worry about that. <laughs> Let us, let us begin. Let us begin with the violence. 
Is there any violence to start with? No. So, here's how the mines work for those of you who don't know. You basically got to go through here and find the entrance to the next layer. Uh, these are copper ores, which we're going to be able to use to upgrade our tools. And every so often, there might be something that we can stab. Oh, there's the entrance. Sick. Grab this last bit of ore, and then down I go. There we go, our first enemy. We have got a simple slime that we're going to try to stab. As you can see, that will cause damage back, and this slime is going to have some jump attacks as well. But it should not be any major threat to us, at least not today. Oh, we've also got one of these crabs, which is also a little nightmare. As you can see, it can block for itself, and we do tend to be able to not backtrack things. Uh, oh, we've got a crab. So crabs, I believe, are something we can sell. So, not only can most of these monsters here um, generally, oh, generally cause us some harm, but sometimes defeating monsters can also reveal the next uh, way down. So, bug me? No, inventory full. What can I ditch? Um, I should not have brought the hoe. That was a mistake. Nah, I don't want to waste my salad right now. Uh, I guess the bug meat just disappears for the moment. We do need bug meat later on, though, for Monster Musk to increase the number of monster spawns to get more drops, to get more things. Uh, seemed counterintuitive to start with, but trust me, it is not. <sighs> yeah, let's eat the salad. I know it's not going to be the most efficient day, but... Uh... I would like to at least go down to layer 5 today before it ends. There we go. One more and we can at least make a checkpoint. Come on. There we go. Checkpoint. Nice. So, every five levels, we should receive a checkpoint. So, if we have a look at these, which uh, the game should be paused right now, so it won't waste our time. You found an ancient Lincoln object. Could it be some artifact from long ago? Perhaps Gunter, the creator of the local museum, has an answer. So, you can find some archaeological stuff down here. Forging ahead, uh, which is from earlier, create a furnace, which we'll need to smelt up the items that we get from the mine. Uh, Robin wants us to build a farm so that we can raise animals so a coop which will give us some raw material uh, and like eggs and stuff like that for cooking uh, that is something separate reach level 1 farming and craft a scarecrow should be our next thing to uh, prevent those things but this, this quest is the main one deeper into the mine reach level 40 in the mines every 5 levels we're going to get a checkpoint which is kind of the goal of the mines is to um Get all the way down to rock bottom. That is some money that will unfortunately be wasted. Sick. I'm not going to waste more time on this level. Let's race. Alright, since I'm not going to have enough energy, I'm going to call it there for day one of the mine. I've already eaten my uh, salad, so we, we just aren't going to get more energy. It's not going to happen. Uh, but the next day, I can go ahead and show off geode cracking at Clint's. Right, so can we make some furnaces now that we're back? We can, but I don't really have inventory space for it. Uh, so slime is something that I don't remember what it's used for, but I'm sure it would probably be good. I can get rid of some sap. Quartz is a mineral that we can use for Gunter. Bug meat is used later on as well. Basically, everything is always used in this game. So for now, we're going to... Well, maybe not the crab. Okay, I'm going to go check the crab as well. Get a little bit more finance in, and then hopefully reach level 1 farming tonight. Can only afford one furnace, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and make a furnace area, let's say up here, since this is going to be the way to uh, the mines anyway. Let's put coppers on to smelt. There you go, and they get smelted one at a time. So I'll go ahead and make a second chest to go ahead and make some... Basically, a chest for our mining resources. Which seems like a good use of time for the rest of this evening. So, you can go ahead and chuck, like, chests here. 
like opposite where we want the things to be. And there you go, get a copper bar. Enough copper bars, we'll be able to do more with them. Requires five ores per copper bar, okay. So we'll go ahead and do more mining tomorrow. Oh, before we go, cat. Don't stab the cat. <laughs> Good kitty. There we go, level one farming. So we can now craft uh, some fertilizer to help our crops grow quicker and a scarecrow, which is quite important. And level one mining, we can create bombs. Uh, so bombs are going to really help us in the mining side of things. The main reason for the bombs helping us in the mining side of things is just so that we can clear out more of those stones without having to uh, go around mining, wasting energy, and we can keep going further. Uh, something I do want to be able to buy is more food so that we can keep going in the coming days. Oh, it is raining today. Welcome to Cozy 5 for weather. It's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow. And the fortune teller. Welcome back to Wellwick's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, well, you've come to the right place. So, this is a bad luck day. Which means the mines aren't going to have as much ores. And we're going to struggle to find certain things. But, we don't have to water the crops, which is nice. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's general store today and check out the affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. I do need to up that backpack, but I don't have the money. I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurous spirit. That much I can tell. If you can slay 10 slimes, you'll have earned your place in the adventurer's guild. Be careful, Marlon. Well, thank you, Marlon. So... I don't remember when Clint's opens up today, so because I don't know when Clint's opens, I'm going to go to the mines first until I'm out of energy, since I have no food, and then I'm going to go visit Clint's. I think he closes at 5, so the quicker we can get there, the better. So, here is how we can use the shortcut. We just click level 5, and there we go. Right, let's go ahead and try to find more of these. I think I'm making good progress on killing slimes already. Last slime, come here. Ow. So slimes can also slow you. They can inflict state debuffs. Uh, which is why they're always like somewhat dangerous in the mines. There we go, next level. Sick, not gonna waste time. Oh sweet! Oh, oh, very sweet. That looks like a good vein of something. Amethysts. Nice. I know there's um, at least one character that enjoys amethysts. I can't remember who, but someone likes them. Probably the purple haired uh, girl in town, I'd imagine. Oh, wow, you see, this is where bombs would be good. Hello, double slimes. That's an angry, angry pair of slimes. Come on. There we go. Got a piece of stone, waste nothing. Right, so these crates can have stuff in them. Let's have a look first. Ooh, topaz. Nice. Ladder. No. Nice. Yeah, we won't have to take on that every other slime. So, every few levels you do get these treasure floors as well. In this case, I got a pair of leather boots. Which I can now go ahead and equip. And they give me some defense and some immunity. What's the other thing? Oh, if you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil. I didn't realize I missed this. I'll get uh, 300 gold. Nice. Box. Ah, yes, the digging 
little buggers. So these are my most hated enemy. They're just a nightmare. Oh, and these. Oh, okay. I'm in for a treat today then. <laughs> I hate fast moving flying enemies too. Just everything. Everything about this floor I'm disliking. Everything about this floor I hate. Everything about this floor I hate. There we go. Oh, there is another one. There we go. Oh, it had a cherry bomb. Oh, I get a show off cherry bombs. Right, I'll eat the leek uh, just for the sake of showing off the cherry bomb, and then we'll race to Clint. So, cherry bomb, just in case it finds the exit here, you want to normally place around a bunch of stones, and I've cleared off most of the stones on that side, so let's go ahead and place it here, and run the heck away. And there we go, there's the exit. That's basically the use of bombs. Oh, hello person. Would you like an amethyst? I seriously love this. You're the best, Harry. Oh, well, there you go, Abigail. See, purple hair person. I knew it. No! <laughs> it's 4pm. I messed up. Uh, well, live and learn. This does give me some time to see if Pierre's is open, buy some uh, more seeds, and maybe buy some more uh, food from the inn tonight. Have you just closed shop? Most people will stay indoors in day like this. It's not good for business. Yeah, I can feel that, bud. Ah, oh, Pierre's not tending the shop. Ah, oh, I've missed everything by the smallest of margins. Okay. Oh, here we go. I made it. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. That's a very weird quartz. I didn't think my quartz was brown. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask of you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals you find? Bogart, just get my list. <laughs> We could make groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across something of interesting items and send them all your way. Alright, sure thing, Gunther. Think about it, will ya? If you decide to donate, just bring me the objects. Uh, sorry, just bring the objects to the front desk. Alright, well there we go, another quest to do in this game, so, donate to the museum. We, oh, we didn't actually bring the quartz with us, but we do have one of these to donate. There you go, Gunther. 250 gold for helping out Gunther for the first time, very nice. And let's think about making a scarecrow, because, uh, oh, hello. Social. Oh, the social menu. We finally unlocked it. So if you talk to people in a day and gift people, it'll do social things. Good to know. Maybe I should be doing that more often. So what do I need? One coal, a bunch of fibre, and some wood. The first of many. Does it give me, like, a radius for it? No? In which case, we'll go ahead and set it there and hope that will protect our, uh, our crops. Good night, kitty. Sick, next day. Oh, journal. Advancement. Uh, made a scarecrow, 100 gold. Nicely done. And, oh, the Queen of Swords. So this is a TV channel that only appears every now and again, and it will teach us how to make recipes. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you the new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, stir-fry. I'm not going to read the rest of this, because this seems like a very long, complicated way to say stir-fry. You've learned how to cook stir-fry. There we go. 
and then the fortune teller. Ah, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. I'm very happy today, so it's good luck day, meaning that we should see some differences in the mine. Let's see what our post has to offer. Ah, oh, what was her name? Robin here. I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over the farm and serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. It's 75 stone and a thousand gold when you're ready for it, Robin. I don't think I'll need it. Most of my farming's gonna be around here. Um, and when I get a sprinkler set up, like, I'm not certain I'm gonna need wells. But thank you anyway, Robin. Oh, hello. <laughs> Just the person I wanted to see. Oh, hi there. <clears throat> you right, uh, Mayor Lewis? What an eyesore. It kind of is. This is the Pelican Town Community Center. Or what's left of it anyway. That's quite sad. It used to be the pride and joy of the town. Always bustling with activity. <coughs> now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. True. Fact. <laughs> but listen to me. I sound like an old fool. Not really. Like, Jojo Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so that they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to the relics of the past. Oh, well. If anyone else buys a JoJo Co. membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. Here, let's go inside. Oh, man. So this speaks to me on a certain level, like as a player. I, I go to old school, like, game stores and do D&D and stuff there. Uh, but I also am the person that stays at home playing video games, so I can see both. Hmm. What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. A little, little house. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. That's what happens when you abandon it, my friend. Oh. Hello, little guy? What? Oh. Well, I'm going insane. What's the matter? Are you ill? Apparently. You saw something? Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. <laughs> oh no, it's the Fae. Fae are messing with me. You're worrying me, Harry. I'm worrying myself. Look, I think I'm gonna go ahead home. I need some lunch. It's your birthday, please take this beer! Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can ca help catch that rat if you have some extra time. <laughs> now nah, we're gonna build this place up. We build communities here. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Yes, yes we will. Yes it is. Morning. You remember my birthday. Thank you, this is great. You see, you, good feeling, good feeling, everyone happy. Let's make this community a happy one. No sad, only happy. Let's go ahead and donate something to the museum. Quartz. Let's see if we can get this to be like a gemstone, right? And then let's crack the geodes. I've left scythes and all sorts in my toolbox, bugger. Hey, Clint. Let's process some geodes. Stone. Great. A little bit of copper, not great either. Oh, hello. Gunther can tell you more about the dwarfish helmet. Okay. Sweet. So we got something else for Gunther out of these starting geodes, which, you know, they're starting geodes. You don't expect them to be great. Uh, I completely forgot to put these back at home, though, so I'm going to go do that here in a moment. Donate to the museum. 
have a dwarven helmet. Where do we want this? Let's go down in the corner over here. I'll put copper in there very well. Run to the mines. Get what we can done today. Done. Eat salad. It's good for you. Alright. Let's go five more levels. Let's go. Alright, we should apparently see a notable difference in the mines today in terms of uh, us being able to get anywhere. Mix seeds. Thought that was the rare seed then. Nope, not dealing with you. <laughs> not dealing with that. Oh no. Now, let's go around this way. Did not well time that. Alright, that one is going to leave us be for a bit. Come on, slime. There we go, journal update. I'm now into the Adventurer's League, or the Adventurer's Guild. There we go, and a cherry bomb. Nice, just in case we don't happen to find the exit. There we go. Copper, yes, yeah, so there's loads more enemies, it seems, and there seems to be more just th things in the way, which is good. Hopefully finding exits quicker will also be nice. Down he goes. Oh, God. That dash was a little bit weird. Coal. Six coal. Won't turn my nose up at it. Oh, no. Please go away. Please leave me alone. Okay. I hate these things. There we go. Oh! Dwarven Scroll Part 1. Nice. Gonna need more of those. I'd imagine. Oh, more of these things. Right. Time it. Timing is everything with these things. I hate them so much. Way down, please. Nope. Oh, no. Little mining bastards. And more of these. Just spam. Spam, 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 spam. This is why spamming isn't great. Uh, where's this little guy? There he is. Oh, there's two. I want another one of these. Are you kidding me? Right, there is a level of hate now. There is just so much hate. Can you guys just leave me alone? There we go. All right, way down. Screw it. We ain't, we ain't dealing with more of it. Oh, sick. Right, let's just go. Level 15. Worry about getting copper and stuff later. Yes, stabbing. Come on, dig yourself up under me. I wonder. Did that kill them? No. Sad. I did get did refund it though. There we go. Oh, what on earth is that? Right, whilst that is being a mystery, let's go ahead. Can I cherry bomb the big rocks? Or is that a bigger bomb that I'm going to need? Or a better pickaxe, maybe. I cannot cherry bomb those. Good to know. Oh, that's how. <laughs> oh, you see this. This is where it would have been good. Right, okay, so. I'm going to get rid of these. Those lava will all hatch into the big flying dudes. And, uh... On this much health, I don't think I can accept that as a reasonable risk right now. Uh, I don't have a good enough sword, so let's go ahead and just leave this for today. As much as I do want more, we hit the checkpoint. We're probably not going to get much further in the time we have left and the health we have left. So let's just leave it and do some more work on the farm to close off today. Chop, 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 chop. 
Oh, the cat's on my bed. Good, good. Alrighty, let us go to bed and wrap up today's session. We have combat level up, so we get some more health, know how to make bug steak, and a sturdy ring. Good, good. We'll discover all of that in the next one. Uh, we also got foraging, so we can make a survival burger, which is also very, very good for mining. And our money rolls in with a few hundred gold. Nice. So, that is going to be it for today's uh, episode of Stardew Valley. It's a bit of a longer one, uh, but I do hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope to continue with Stardew Valley... Oh, I hope to continue with Stardew Valley in the future. So... Uh, I was a little bit demoralized, as I mentioned at the start of this session, uh, with recording things that weren't Minecraft, but at the end of the day, like, I love Minecraft and we're going to be doing a pretty much weekly stream of it, so the episodes coming out from here will be some Minecraft ones, the highlights, but otherwise you might start seeing a bit more Stardew and Celeste. Uh, but let me know what you guys think, and if you've made it this far, remember to leave a like, because it will do me and my confidence uh, the world of good. Alrighty, see you guys later.